of me. When hey guys, Bug Scoop 12 here. Uh, this is the second part to my um, review um, and comparison to show the, uh, you know, just the little differences and the um, the changes they've made um, from Fallout 3 to uh, Fallout New Vegas. And uh, yeah, on this part of the um, review, I'm going to be showing you about the things that they've added, the things they should have added, and the little the little things that kind of make this game um solely unique so uh i will uh go up, get on with it then um right this is uh just an area outside the um las vegas strip or you know new vegas it's called the the, the vegas strip and uh yep let's go in and have a look all right um yeah just to tell you guys you can't just waltz in like this <laughs> if any of you guys are new to the game you can't just walks in like this these guys you have to do something i'm not going to you know put any spoilers in this but you have to do something and uh it does it does add a couple of hours onto the game yep uh sorry i was a little vague on my last video um i'll i'll hopefully be a little more detailed for you this time um cuz i do hope that the videos that I make on this game do persuade people to buy this title because it is it's it's much better than uh, free. Free was a joke to be honest in the to hold the uh, Fallout format. Um, right, yeah, this is the part of the strip, and the strip is basically the 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 rich area of of the um, Harvey Desert. Um, you have to have a certain amount of cash to come in, uh, like stuff like that. It, it just it throws you in the sort of your part at the moment become rich. You don't. It's not like any other game where it's like, oh, you've done something amazing. Now you can just jump in because everyone knows you. You have to work your way through the top you, via missions or just robbing people, getting money, whatever. You need to, you know, fight your way through the top like everyone else is. And um, yeah, this is this is this is just uh, one part of it. So two casinos. That's more or less the uh, how do you call it? The uh, red light district. Um, <clears throat> downstairs is a club and there's all strip dancers and you know all that sort of funky shit. <laughs> um, <coughs> um, here is the uh, the big tower that you can see if you literally um, look in the, the the far right corner of the first um, view sequence, so to speak, at the start of the game. You do see this in the background. Uh, I'm not going to tell you anything about that. Right, let's go into the uh, the backbone of the strip. Right, this is the, this is like basically where all the casinos are. Right, you've got several casinos. Each of them have their own theme. Um, yeah, <laughs> the lighting's pretty damn impressive, especially at night. If I quickly just pop on tonight, uh, we were seven hours ahead. <coughs> Here we go. Look, it's lit up like a Christmas tree. This. I, I like this it's it's impressive when i first got into this area i was like wow i just spent like 20 minutes just staring at it <laughs> but um yeah okay back to business right this is the well i wouldn't say the main area but this is one of the main areas in the whole game this is where you know most of the shit happens sort of thing and um yeah you'll be running back and forwards through here a lot of times um i don't see why they didn't do something like this on free Maybe because, I don't know, lack of memory, uh, shit development team, shit storyline, I don't know. Um, there's, there's, a load of, there's a load of different reasons for it. Um, I just hope that they carry on this sort of detail, you know, because it's just, it's just cool. It's like, you know, they're all wearing 50s stuff, you know, and it's all, you know, they all got their hair styled differently and all the faces are different. It's just attention to detail in this game. It's absolutely amazing. Um... Yeah, and the the amount of uh, costumes you can wear and stuff. I mean, this is my character. Well, you remember my character from a, a day ago, and this is my character now. He rather looks like something out of the village people, or he looks like some five star general. And I'm going with the five star general, to be honest. <laughs> but um, yeah, that you get different bits of armor from different places. I'm not going to tell you where I got that because, like I said, that's going to be another spoiler if I do. Um, yeah, right. I was talking about weapons modifications, right? If we bring up our pit boy, and we go into items, and if we go into weapons, and we go down to I don't know, say we've got like you know the nine millimeter pistol, 
And if you want to mod it, you hold down L2 and it comes up like this. Now I haven't got any mods to show you, but it's pretty damn it's pretty damn self-explanatory. Like if you have a mod, it shows up on here, this list on the left, which is like just basically part of the blank screen, right? Um if you select it, it will add on to it. Um add on to the weapon, selected weapon itself, not every weapon of that um type, right? So if I go out of here, like um example, if I go on to <laughs> my rifle that I use, my trusty rifle that I've used since day one and we go here it will show that I've got the silencer and the increased ammunition compatibility capacity sorry um, if I bring that out I'll show you guys I think this is the weapon yep this is my weapon you can see the silencer on the end of it and you can just at the bottom of the screen you can see the extended magazine um, it's pretty fast to fire I'm not going to fire off any shots around here in case I piss some people off and uh, yeah, that's that's the weapon modding. It's pretty, it's fun. It's it it's fun because you can do loads of stuff. You can get laser sight for your ten millimeter, and you can get a zoomed in scope for your laser rifle. And just a just a hint as well, if you're planning on playing this, don't choose energy weapons at the start because they're really really they're really really piss poor at the start. You really need to get some level up on your energy weapons. So I wouldn't choose them um, to 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 be your main weapon of attack because it, it it you just the ammunition isn't there. You need to get high enough in the science to meet your own ammunition. I mean, it's good. It's fun. I've done five minutes of it, but I haven't done any more. Um, this is one of the other areas. This is more or less the kind of um, embassy for the uh, new Republic of California. Uh, you've got the ambassador dude in there, you know, like, like you normally would have. Please HQ. These are the people that kind of selectively chose to run this place um, and within doing so they've got a stranglehold on the city and this is one of the three factions you can work with um, I mean I haven't gone into as much detail with the factions as I wanted to to be honest I really want to just tackle the game go through whatever path possible and then maybe my next time well definitely my next time round I'll uh, start looking into detail and doing every single mission uh, that's kind of how I play I kind of demolish the game first then go through it with a uh, a fine comb afterwards um and i don't know that that that, that that's a sound advice for any fallout to be honest um learn where your boundaries are in the game first and then work around them i mean you know complete the game know where you're running to um the next time around you'll shave hours off by just knowing what to do um and where to go yeah that kind of sums up for the uh, second part um Sorry the videos are a little short, but hey, um, I'm viewing on high quality. Um, I will be making another one very soon, so uh, please subscribe. Uh, stay in touch by, you know, send me messages, what you think about my videos, what I could improve on and such. Um, I'd like to hear your feedback, and if anyone has any special requests for any Fallout video, please send me a link, or send me a response or whatnot, and I will um, make one for you. So uh, that's me over and out guys, see you next time.